discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the discussion for Nemesis, the latest Kickstarter game uh, from Awakened Realms, which I gotta say, this company is awesome. Uh, except for Lords of Hellas, which we didn't really care for um, a whole lot. That was the tech, but the theme I thought was cool. That was the Greek technology. Was one. that when you were building a statue? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, was that it? Yeah, that was that was uh, Lords of Hellas, and that was one of their games that we didn't really care for a whole lot. Um, but we also only ever played it once, mm -hmm. so I would be inclined to try it again, just because mm -hmm. I really like this company. But before that, it was this War of Mine, which I think you like mm -hmm. a lot, and I li and I very much like it. And then they're working on Tainted Grail, which looks fucking phenomenal. Um, anyway, so Nemesis, uh, pretty much heavily inspired by the Alien series. Um, and if they say it's not, and if they say it's not, that, yeah, they are lying. Uh, very much so because their designs are just pretty much the the, the, the aliens. Yeah, yeah, except they have two tails. The Xenomorph. Yeah. Do they have two tails? Oh, they do. Some um, have yeah. Multiple. And none of them have uh, a, uh, you know, second mouth in yeah. their mouth. Well, um, that's copyright at that point. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but pretty much theme and everything yeah. uh, is Alien. And personally, I love the Alien movies. But, and by movies, I mean Alien One. and Aliens. Uh, alien 3 isn't too bad. Uh, 4 sucks, Prometheus sucks, and uh, Covenant sucks. Covenant just but, yeah. So, uh, instead of doing, I think I did an unbox. I did not do an unboxing for this. So, uh, kind of what I'm going to do, because I don't like doing unboxings, what do you guys think of the components? It's pretty cool, pretty nice, actually. I would double say that. Yeah, very nice minis. Mm -hmm. Is this part of a... This is the Kickstarter, but this is what the game comes with. To the like, game, like, uh, me, Common Joe, picking up the game, I'm gonna get You'll these. get these miniatures. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Those are nice. Um, yeah. Granted, I don't know if this is going retail, but mm -hmm. if it does, yeah, these miniatures would be in. Now, I don't know if, because there are different models for, like, the adults and uh, uh, stuff like that, so I don't know if that, if they would go that far. Mm -hmm. And I'm not quite sure if these tokens here, like the plastic ones, would mm -hmm. be uh, regular retail. Or if they're not free. Um, or if they're... <laughs> Excuse me, part of my upgrade. However, from the Kickstarter version, everything is phenomenal. These card stocks are really nice. I love the thick, uh, or the, the, we're not thick, the slick feel of them. They don't feel like grainy. You know, some cards feel like, it's like man, I feel like I'm sweating into these. Uh, they're, they're very slick. The boards are really nice. The miniatures are awesome. Uh, very detailed and look what I really like about this like aesthetics wise is a lot of the games you know have you you know your player board and like Mansions of Madness is a good example and you have to look for your fucking character and you're like this kind of looks like him uh, a lot of games do that this one is like hey here's a picture of the miniature mm -hmm. like and th this isn't the only game to do that however uh, the fact that they did do it um, I I think is awesome the cardboard's really nice the only thing that's kind of shitty are these uh, door stands, they slide pretty much like almost immediately, like picking them up, they, they, these stands come off. Mm -hmm. So I see why they did that because some, they can get like chipped or, or beat up over time, but it, they're still kind of annoying because you're like, oh, 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 okay, came with it. <laughs> but it could easily fall over, but that's just a minor annoyance. Um, yeah, every, everything is awesome. I mean, even aesthetically, they came with a, bo a box holder, which sucks, <laughs> but... The fact that they did, they're like, our game is big, display it. And you just kind of pop that on and it just rests on it. However, last time we played it fell over. And I'm like, alright, I'm, I'm done with that. Ah, These things are really nice. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Like, I like the fact that you can't read what these are. Like, it's like, okay, does this say? Like, so you actually have to use this. This isn't just a gimmick. I like how it feels like you're con being contaminated and actually scanning yourself to see if you're infected and now some of them are really close and you're like oh dear god so artwork i think is amazing where it's at like the 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 rooms all have detail to them the card backs have detail the, These, the characters have the unique deck with the unique art yep yep with them on it i mm -hmm. think yeah like all my cards have have just pictures of me doing stuff on it so yeah that's i didn't even notice that mm -hmm. um so that is aesthetically pleasing as well. So awesome components that they came with. So next would be um, theme. What do you guys think of the theme? I mean, yeah, space theme is always fun. Um, it is very much alien theme. I like the alien movies. 
Yeah, so I mean, the theme's fine for me. You haven't seen the Alien movies, right? So, yeah. what do you think of the theme? Because obviously I think it's going to appeal a little bit more to people who have seen the movies. Because it's like, oh, this is like the dude in the Alien yeah. 4 in the wheelchair. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I haven't seen it. Uh, it's a neat premise. I enjoy the the semi-cooperative, though I know it's kind of a nasty word mm -hmm. in some circles. Because um, it's like, are we working together, are we not? Mm -hmm. and, but I feel like this one pulls it off very well. Um, you know, I know we had our incident in the cockpit where it's like, we both know we need to be here. Right. And right. Like, are we just going to be pushing buttons all game? Let's get this straight. Yeah, so that's that's the big highlight of this game is that it is semi-cooperative. And the game even says in the rules, this is not a cooperative game. You are going to have your own objectives uh, that will um, make you... But here's the thing. They don't make you really act traitorish. Like, it just makes you do your own agenda. Like, for example, we were like, Cat, where you put out the fires, and you're like, nope, and you just kept running room to room. And it's like, okay. Like, never once while we were playing this game that I was, like, pissed off that someone wasn't doing something. Mm -hmm. Like, it all just kind of... I mean, because there's so much going on that you, it's like, well, I mean... Like, I, I really, if you had just dropped a malfunction just to blow the ship up... Oh, you know, like, I should have done switch it to Mars, and then immediately broke the computer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect! Why did I do that? Because you still had a small chance that you might survive. Yeah, I did. I mean, because at the time, the nest looked so vulnerable. Right, and right. Then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, in a lot of semi-cooperative games, the way they work is they're pretty much competitive. Mm. Like, fuck you, I don't really care. Uh, what you need, I have my objective, and they just piss a lot of people off. And I d and I don't really like semi cooperatives. Trader mechanic games are different um, because there's everyone is essentially working together, and you're trying to figure out who the trader is. And once everyone knows who that person is, then it's one versus many, and that's different for me. This one I think does a really really good job um, about the semi cooperative nature because it doesn't give you one. You have two options. You get two objective cards, so you can kind of see how the game's kind of going to go for a little bit before shit hits the fan, and then you're like, okay, I guess I have to pick one. Then you have a cup, like, it, it, most of them say or. Hey, do this or this, which means, okay, it has to reach Earth, fine, uh, I'm going to try and go for that one. Then if you kept changing it, then it's like, okay, great, now I'm going to be the only character to, to survive. So you kind of get options where one person can't hose you completely um, with your objectives. In our experience, anyway. So, I really think the semi-cooperative nature works. Um, what do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, that's it. it. Can't say it doesn't. Okay, let me rephrase it. Do you like it? No. Okay. Why don't you like it? It's I, mine more black and white. Just either we're working together or we're not. I don't see the point to semi-co-op at all. This isn't the obviously the most semi co op I've ever played, um, but yeah, no, I don't like the thought of semi co op. Well. Okay, well there you. Hmm? Uh, well, I have enjoyed it so far. I, I like how you know you, you don't know what the next person wants to do specifically. You know, like after you played it a few times, mm -hmm. vaguely, you know it's either going to be so, you know save the ship, go somewhere specific, nuke the ship, uh, a lot blow up the nests and the signal. A lot of them revolve around that, or kill another player. We haven't. Nobody's right. picked one of those objectives yet. Right, right. Um, um, yeah, that's that's the, probably the biggest fuck you objective is mm -hmm. trying to make sure, sure everyone dies. so yeah. uh, either everyone dies or one particular person dies. And even then, what I do like is that it's not like it's not directly mm -hmm. like I can't run up and then just pistol it, pistol like just gun you down. Mm -hmm. Like, I just have to do it very indirectly. Or sometimes not at all. Like, close the door. Like, like close the door. You're stuck with the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Which I didn't do. I was just like, hey, I, I need to survive, so the queen's in there. I'm sorry, man. Uh, I did not have any really ul uh, ulterior motives. But yeah, stuff like that, which I, I very much like. It doesn't seem so cutthroat. It doesn't seem like, well, if I can't win, no one can uh, mentality. Um, and... I should just nuke this shit and just place that last malfunction and end of it. Well, then, but see, and that's I guess. That's, but then that would have been wouldn't have been fun for everyone. Right. Well, it wouldn't have benefited you because you wouldn't have won. I know. And that's the that's the biggest dickhead mentality. That would be pretty dick. <laughs> it's like, why? Well, did you win? If that was your objective, then okay. Yeah. Um, but if it's not, then it's like, why? Just like, oh, to end if it. I can't win, then no one's. Gonna yeah. Win. It's like then don't play. <laughs> um, so so there's there's that. I very much like the objectives, and yeah, you're right. Uh, 
the, the you, you kind of vaguely after enough plays will know kind of what someone's trying to do. Um, so are the objectives specific to the class? Nope, they're random. There's okay. there's two decks. There's the personal and the cor uh, corporate, and you shuffle both decks and give each player one, hmm. and then they. And they pick one, they're not specific to the class, so... I mean, you are going to have a bunch of variety. You're not going to know who has what, mm -hmm. and stuff like that, so... Um, but yeah, eventually, like, if someone's running from room to room... Uh, but that's that's where I think the player interaction comes in. It's no longer trying to read... Okay, like, if Cat was running room to room, and we're like... Okay, we're, like, we might think, oh, she has that objective again. Or, but that's when she would come in and be like, no, I'm trying to find a certain room. Yeah, and, yeah. And that's where knowing the game kind of works. No, I'm literally trying to find the surgery to heal myself. And that's where you need to role play, mm -hmm. I guess, a little bit more. Like, whenever we were in here and you were like, oh, okay, do you need to go to Earth? And we're, I'm like, well, yeah. Uh, that, I mean, that's kind of, that's essentially like kind of telling you what my objective is, which, I mean, I guess you could do. Uh but in thematically, I guess the reason would have been you try to change it to Mars because you had to go to Mars, and I have to. Ch then obviously I already checked it, so then I'm like, okay, well he needs to go here. Mm -hmm. So then it's just a back and forth until. But that's why I like how they give you the alternate. It's like fine, it's going to Mars. Great, I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> Stuff like that. So that's where it becomes more player interactive than trying to meta game, you know. Uh, but that could be a that could be a weakness. The fact that you know, oh, okay, I've played this enough. She's going room to room. I know exactly what she needs to do. Um, but it doesn't behoove me to stop her. It's like great, you revealing all the rooms is only going to help me. Now I know where the rooms are. I'm not going to kill you. Like I'm just going to do my objective. Fine, find all the rooms. I don't care. It's not like I lose if someone else wins. Mm. So I do like that. How you can have multiple winners. Um, so there's that. There's the exploration sense of the game where you don't know where the rooms are. The level two rooms are not always in the game. Uh, they're not always the same. Once again, we didn't have the shower, so someone was always slimed. Uh, I don't know. I just think every single, every single action, everything that you do is grounded in theme. Um, that, I mean, even though it's frustrating, all the noise markers, it can be kind of fiddly, constantly putting noise on, taking them off, and then, but, I mean, for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. Hey, or every single time I move, I need to roll for noise. It's like, ugh, oh god, I need to, I've moved twice, but, I don't know. I, I, I really like this game. I think it has enough replayability, and because this is, I just got my base game. Like, I'm still getting split shipping with, like, four other expansions, which will come March, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, let's talk about negatives. Uh, Kat, you can go ahead and go, because I know you have the most negatives. No, I don't. You don't like this game? Well, yeah, but I mean... I just don't like it. Okay, why? So, I guess the semi-co-op part, or the feel of the semi-co-op... <laughs> You said that you had a grievance don't with, put um, huh? Don't put stuff on me. Okay. Uh, you said you had, what, you said you had a grievance about something. Well, it doesn't matter because you explained it. Did I explain it? Yeah. Oh, the, the yeah. attack and damage. No, yeah, because of, like, why is their health random? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how you don't know how you're going to yeah. kill and them. And I do remember you saying that, um, obviously it's just been a... Not a long time, but it's been a minute since we played. Right. And we only played it once before. Right. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it's just, I'm not into it. This is the second time I've played it. Just not really into it. I also feel like there's a huge, gigantic slap in the face to work hard for two and a half hours. And then to just die. Oh, die right at the end? Yeah. yeah. With the contamination cards? Yeah. That sucked pretty bad. Um, but yeah. that's just how it is. You know, you got an alien creature and you alien creature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you never rested to try and get rid of those. <laughs> There's no fucking way I could have. I could have done it at the end, but I was like, I'm leaving. Trying to leave. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Devin, do you have any negatives? Well, negative? I will say I like this better with four mm -hmm. than five. I don't have too many. Yeah. No, I feel like they did it very well. Um, yeah, nothing that's immediately glaring that was just like, oh, fucking this shit. Yeah, I felt like it all went pretty well. Yeah, I wouldn't say there's anything like game breaking. Like, oh fuck, we can't you know, deal with this. I, I had a good time, even getting murdered by a monster. I mean, probably a bit of it. You know, uh, my one complaint, and it was fairly early. Uh, you know, we had such a competitive 
with that one specific room, oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like, it's yeah. like it's like one of us had to give, or we're gonna be pushing buttons the whole game. Right, right. Uh, that that is true. I guess if you do have conflicting things, yeah. we both happened to book it to the control room to see where it was at, <laughs> um, and then yeah, I mean, I guess I guess you're right. We did, we're, we were kind of forced to kind meta, of. kind of not really meta, but but role play it out. Mm. Um, so. Uh, so I mean I guess that was kind of kind of thematic. Um, I don't really have any negatives either. Like I mean, combat is I mean based off a die roll. Um, like oh right. <laughs> well, like, dice happen. Yeah, dice do oh, happen, and you roll blanks every single time. God damn it! That was that was too coincidental. Devin kept rolling that blank, and I kept that was rolling. Bad. And you kept rolling the damage. Yeah. Um, I like the rolling for noise. It makes tension. Like it's like okay, great. I was gonna go that way, but you clomped your way through the entire. Co Guess I'll go the other way. It's safer. Um, so I, I very much like that. I like the self destruct. I like the time marker. How, um, you know, you can only do certain things at certain periods of time. Uh, and and you do have a chance to lie to people because you could have been like, oh no, we're no, we're fine. That one's really good. And then I, I go to eject, and then that one... I was actually nervous when she was like, I should have blown the ship up. I'm like, oh, fuck, he lied. This is going to be damaged. Oh, that would suck. <laughs> so it, it adds that extra bit of tension because not only is the game brutal, mm. because it's just like it starts off super subtle. Oh, yeah, let's explore some rooms. And yeah! <laughs> and then it's just constantly trying to survive, con like having these severe wounds. I love the wound track, how there's light wounds, and it's not just immediate, like, severe. Mm. You, you progress up to that. Um... I like the AI system, how the creatures only move with their events, uh, or they pop up with the noise, and then they can potentially attack you. I love the hand management system, like the five cards that you have. You're like, Do I, I really want to use these, but I need to move, so I, I need to discard some, and if I'm contaminated a shit ton, then I'm fucking weak, and, and I need to get rid of them. So, I really like that. The bag thing, I mean, yeah, it's okay. Like the bag I never did like pulling box. No, especially, it, it would have been better if it was, like, in a bigger bag. Like, I don't feel like they mix well, and right. it's, like, yeah. I feel like they're... Oh, from Arkham Horror. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Like, I'm, constantly, I'm like, I don't even know if I'm doing anything here. Yeah. Uh, but... Which, I mean, as long as we really don't even have to mix it up, because <coughs> you can't see in there. I guess that's true. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure the blank landed over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. Um, Unless you got your chip. I like how it does progress and how... Uh, most of the time you're going to get adult, but then BAM! Queen! While we're at the nest, and then yeah. that, that, the, the bag will progress. That was fun. Um, I am hoping that the expansions obviously give some, this some variety, because like you said, replayability, I am kind of nervous about, because you can only see the objective so many times. Like, just, I honestly, like, more rooms and more objectives would give this game a bunch of breath. Like, a fresh air, so... But then again, since we do the channel, I don't play the game. I don't. We don't play games all the time. Mm -hmm. um, no, I just I, I love this game. I, I think it's I think it's fantastic. Yeah. I also love the fact that it comes with a campaign, a four game campaign, and the campaign book is a comic book, which is over there, um, and that's I believe that is fully cooperative. Which, by the way, this game can be played fully cooperative. Um, so that's a variant mm -hmm. you can play as, and um, it can also be played solo, and there's another variant where if the first person who dies, they can play as the intruders. Oh, yeah. Which I didn't want to throw in because that would have just been weird. But in, yeah, that, that is, could be a negative is it does have player elimination. So this Which game, can be annoying. It is very annoying, especially because this game is at least two hours. Mm. At least, yeah. So if it's two hours and you can die, like... You can die You can die almost incredibly quickly. Didn't, like, the someone queen. almost died, like, like turn two, mm. potentially. Like, if you got infected by a larva and then turned to, like, I think it was an event card that popped up. That was like, oh, yeah, you, you, if you have a larva, you die. Oh, so, yeah, and we were all like, thank fucking God no one yeah, has Yeah, so, that. I mean, if it if someone died that early, I'd be like, we're going to restart. You're reincarnated. <laughs> but, yeah, like, player elimination is not everyone's favorite. And, yeah. uh... Well, I remember one time we were playing Dead of Winter, and one of our friends was like, I'm going to go home, because he... Oh, because we almost uh, kicked him out of the, yeah. the colony. And he's like, if I'm out of this game, I like, go home. Yeah. Which is fair. Like, yeah, I mean, not everyone is as invested if they're not playing. No one's going to yeah. sit here and be like, oh, wow. I mean, I would be, but it I depends on the timing. Be, yeah. um, some people could say a negative is you can do all the hard work and still die. 
Yeah. Uh, my argument, I, I completely agree, but my also argument is we'll just get rid of the contamination cards. Sometimes it'd be that way. Sometimes it'd be that way. Um, the only other thing I can think of is the intruder board. I think that having the weaknesses, those are all random too. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really cool. It's just something extra to do if you can. <laughs> is yeah. go get an egg to the laboratory, get a body, and just you can make it easier to fight them. Like last time we played, we killed a bunch of them because we just like had them in fire yeah. rooms. Mm -hmm. Which and I it, think I think that would be easier to do if you were playing a completely co-op version because when it's not co-op like that, you're like, I'm not going to fucking sacrifice my turn mm -hmm. to go do this shit. I'm going to try to do what I have to do and then get off or yeah. whatever. Yeah. I mean, that that's one of those things that it only benefits everyone. Right, but to, if you're just trying to benefit yourself and mm -hmm. you don't care about everyone else, you're yeah. like... It's interesting, though, because I think this game, more so than other semi-co-ops, is, like, you kind of want to help others because it helps you as well, um, except be the only player to survive. But yeah. if you're the only one being hounded by aliens and it's like, crap, I'm probably not going to survive, so let's work together. They just, I think they found an easier way to do the semi-cooperative than just a big, it's all about me, we, we kind of have to work together, but not really, so fuck you. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I really I really like it. I like how the severe wounds aren't game breaking, in my opinion. Like they they suck, <laughs> but they're not like, oh, you can't move or something like that. Oh, you can only carry you can't carry any heavy items or some awful thing like that. But it is you it is potential you can dress them and if you were in you if you were in there you could have dressed them and then healed them. Mm. But no, there was just wandering monsters. Wa wandering queen and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. The crafted items deck, uh, in the How to Play I watched, he mentioned he, they've never done it. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you can, like, I'm sure a flamethrower would be awesome. Yeah, ours were actually vulnerable to fire. Again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then phosphates, and they were also on the brink of extinction. Yeah. Which is good. <laughs> right, so uh, it's just so heavily grounded in the game. Um... It, I I just I just really like it so I am very excited for the um, for the expansions uh, so on a scale of one to ten Devin what do you think well I'm gonna, that, I'm gonna look up how much this game costs too mm -hmm. because uh, that is becoming a factor lately mm-hmm um, what was it after the last thing we played? Gen 7, mm -hmm. which was not a Kickstarter game, and it was $100. And not worth it. Mine was 128 For this, all the stretch goals, the terrain expansion, um, and art book. Oh, I would say that that's fair. I think, oh, I, I think I do remember. Shipping was actually pretty, pretty stout. Oh, where'd they ship it from? Uh, it has the... I can't remember. It's like that. I think that's the British pound. So, so then they shipped it overseas. They shipped it overseas. So yeah. that's fair. I'll give it a nine. Nine? Yeah. Because like I would play it again. Damn. Yeah, I'd happily play it again. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Like I mean, yeah, this classic game. I'm usually not too interested in, but I felt like this one did it really right. Right. Uh, actually, so I actually did the all-in pledge. Um, I don't. I did not do the sun drop because I don't. I don't like the sun drop. But that gives me. The, cat, the Carnomorphs expansion and a bunch of other expansions that I'm not going to look up right now. But So the all-in expansion is like 160 But still, you get all these minis and you get a bunch of stuff for it that I think it merits the money. And a bunch of expansions. And a bunch of expansions. So, yeah, I'm right there with you. I'm going to give it a 9. All right. Um, well, same. mine is going to be the harshest one. Just because I don't want to... <coughs> well, I'll give it a 5. A 5? Because I, I could not find anything to solidly pinpoint... Like, oh, this makes it a bad game for me. I just don't like it. I don't want to play it again, so I'll give it a five. Yeah. Um, Josh very much liked it. I'm pretty sure he'd probably give it's it a dude game. <laughs> I think so. Maybe. It's, yeah. it's a big asshole game sometimes. Maybe. But once again, you can essentially play it cooperative. You don't have to pick fuck you objectives. And maybe mm. I would like it cooperative. Maybe if we just play it completely cooperative. Yeah, co I, I mean, would be all say that. I will. You will I, try it cooperative? I will try it cooperative. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah you also sure. have to be in the right headspace to be like, all right, this is going to take maybe two hours, mm -hmm. maybe more. Yeah, that is true. Uh, Marcy, who was playing with us, uh, she uh, she didn't care for it. Um, she said it was she liked Deep Madness better. Uh, I will say I do like Deep Madness better than this, but... Um, 
It's got some other stuff going. Yeah. On. Uh, so I don't. I don't think she really cared for it. She'd probably give it a five too, if I had to guess. So uh, Josh would probably give it a nine. So we got essentially three nines, two fives. Uh, do with that what you will. But I. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this, and if you like this video, then click the subscribe button below to enjoy any video that I put out. And right next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that so you get notified of whenever I actually upload these videos. If you want to support the channel, you can definitely visit my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.